We're talking about chicken noodle soup this week, and there's some health benefits to chicken noodle soup, aren't there? There are, there are. You've always heard of having chicken soup when you're sick, but they're finding out today that this is, it's true, it does help. Um, there are antihistamines in the, in the chicken soup. There are antioxidants in the onions. There's beta carotene in the carrots, and these all go to help your immune system and, and do different things. They, the, the proteins thin out the mucus, which helps you cough it up, or, um, and there's vitamin A with the beta carotene, and that helps you to, to heal more quickly. And so there, there are, there are a, lot of, a lot of benefits. It's also a digestive aid, and uh, it's easy to eat. So when you're sick and you don't want to eat a whole lot, it's a good thing to have. Tell me a little about the stock. Stock is very important for a soup like this. It's, I mean, it's important for everything, but with something like this that's broth-based, you need to start with a good stock. And uh, I have a recipe in here to make your own stock. If you want to buy it, you can, but I suggest you fortify it with the chicken that you're going to put in the soup. But if you, if you make your own stock and have a good, hearty stock, it's going to have more nutrients and it's going to taste better. And if you simmer it slowly, it'll be fairly clear, it won't get too cloudy, and it'll turn out a really nice product. Is it uh, hard to make? It's not. It just takes um, takes a little time, and you need to follow the instructions and make sure you cool it down quickly. Um, it's it's very prone to bacteria if you leave it in between um, 40 degrees and 140 degrees for over four hours. So you need to cool it down quickly. I suggest you put it in gallon size Ziploc bags and put it in a sink full of ice, and that'll help to cool it down quickly and and kind of stay off the uh, bacteria growth.